Hey, it's John. It's Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Well, depends on who you ask. I happen to believe that it definitely is. So now that it's a couple weeks before Christmas, I figured let's do a quick project related to both. Why not? So we're going to make a Christmas ornament that helps us show that Die Hard is an important part of the holiday season. We're going to do it right now here on 9142 Props and Armory. that it isn't the holiday season until you watch Hans Gruber fall off the top of Nakatomi Plaza. Do a little project involving 3D modeling, 3D printing, and just a bit of quick assembly. Man, I saw this first time I saw it, it was probably years ago. Somebody made a Christmas ornament of John McClane crawling through the ventilation shafts uh, through, through the building in Die Hard when he's hiding away from everybody trying to make his way through the building. And I saw that a long time ago. Somebody just took a picture, they cut it out, and they stuck it inside of a little rectangle and put it up on their Christmas tree. And I figured, well, I've got a 3D printer. I can kind of model things a little bit. I can do other things with a 3D printer with pictures. So let's kind of put them all together and make something pretty cool. The fusion skills are not great, but they are getting better. And I can do things a little bit more quickly. So um, I said, all right, we're going to make an ornament. It was a picture of John McClane crawling through that ventilation shaft, and we're going to do it a little bit differently. Now, if you haven't seen them before, take a photo and you enter, enter it into your slicer program. Cura does this for you. Um, nice and easy. You put an image, you open up a JPEG in there, and out you get after playing with a couple settings, you get a lithopane. And a lithopane, if you're not familiar with what they are, they are images that if you look at them like this, doesn't look like much, but once you hold them up to the light, your image is revealed. I modeled up a box uh, that's missing a side. It has a couple other things added to it. A little loop on the top from which to hang this from the Christmas tree, and then a slot through which to put our lithopane of the picture. And the last addition onto that box was a hole at the bottom to take one of your Christmas lights from your string of lights on the tree, put it up through there so that it's going to backlight our lithopane, and we're going to see the image inside of the box, which we're going to make look a little bit more like an air duct. All right, so to do that, we're going to, there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. You could, you could paint it, you could print this in a, in a silver plastic, but I think to make it really simple and easy, because getting into bending aluminum and not everybody has a little break to do that, uh, we're going to cheat a little bit. Uh, something if you don't have this in your shop, aluminized tape. If you don't have aluminum tape, it's used for HVAC work. If you don't have it in your shop, you will find a thousand uses for it. So we're going to use that to take this and make it look like actual air duct. All the files for this I'm going to throw up on Thingiverse. Uh, you can find them in the link down in the, down in the description to get these to make one of your very own. And also too, I figured why not, um, next week on Sunday I'll pick somebody out who makes a comment down below and send one of these off to one of you to throw up onto your Christmas tree to bring a little bit of everybody's favorite holiday movie to your very own Christmas tree. All right, so we want to make this look a little bit more like metal. We're going to do that with our aluminized tape. So all we need is some of that. You can pick this up in any any hardware store, just about anywhere, any Home Depot, Lowe's, any place like that is going to have it. And we're going to make the interior of this look like metal on the inside. And just remember that we really only have to go about to here on the inside because that is where our lithopane is going to be. Beyond that we really don't care. So let's get some tape and get some of that in there and get this knocked out real quick. You'll get a finish on the inside of this really as good as you want to. You could spend a, you know, 
a whole bunch of time putting this tape in here or you could spend like I've done probably four or five minutes getting it in here um, it doesn't need to be perfect all right so we got the inside covered again keeping in mind that we don't care what the back looks like on there because that's where our litho paint is going to be I'm going to throw a roll around the outside here strip around the outside there real quick now the print of this um, the litho paint takes about at a, at a 0.2 layer height and an average speed takes about an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes um, this ornament part here um, printed with supports and printed up in the orientation like this with the the closed side down and upright like this the only support you're really going to need for the whole thing is just in here for this slot for the lithopane to go into. Um, it's really not necessary on there, that's going to print just fine. Uh, but in that orientation on your print bed, support, putting you know, your slicer supports everywhere so you get support on the inside there and you're, you're good to go. Alright, let's get this wrapped around. Just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Again, not worrying about it being perfect. Pull the edges over here. All right, there it is, our ventilation shaft. And the rest of it's really easy. All right, so that's really it. We're gonna take this and go throw it up on the Christmas tree. All right, it's on the tree, let's turn on the light. There it is. Christmas is complete. Now the tree's done. The files on Thingiverse, uh, link down in the description for those. They're absolutely free. If you build one of these die-hard ornaments and put it up on your Christmas tree, please share a picture with me. I'm on Twitter at, at John Weger. I'd love to see it. So thanks to all of you for liking the video or give it a thumbs up. Subscribing to the channel, we're almost to 2,000 subscribers. We should get there either maybe today or sometime tomorrow. So thanks to all of you for jumping in on that. Yes, you can get one of these as well too. Just comment down below, let me know what you thought of the video and just say hello. Whatever you gotta do, that'll get you entered and I'll pick somebody out next Sunday to, to get one of those and send you off one of those to make your Christmas tree even better. Maybe even worth $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds. Alright, I'm done with the diehard jokes. Anyway, it's John. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.